Right, so there's an Xbox Series S. Got one here and I've got one at home. I've got a five terabyte hard drive stuck there with some Celastic. See that hard drive stuck there? <clears throat> you see that slot at the back there? You can put these things on these series consoles. If it fucking zooms out. There we go. Now you ready? Da 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 da. I just got it. A one terabyte solid state drive. Woo. This cost me three hundred and sixty dollars. I bought two of them. One for that one up there. And the one for at home. I would have Xbox Series X. But you can't get them. <laughs> Plus that projector there. That projects an image on the wall over there. Is only 1080. So. <laughs> if I had an Xbox Series X. I, I don't know. I can't see the benefit. I can't even get 4K. So. That's fine. It's amazing what they can make for that cheap. That console there was like 480 bucks or something. Pretty cheap. That's Australian dollars. This, just this little tiny Stolz memory card. Storage expansion card. Bloody expensive, 360 bucks. Australian, whatever that works out to be in your country, I don't know. I'll just open it. Hang on. There we go. So, is it worth buying? Well, if you have Game Pass, which every single human who owns an Xbox should have Game Pass. Seriously, it's the most bang for the buck I've ever seen in anything to do with video games. So, since Game Pass has been out, I've literally bought no games. Well, I bought Diablo 2 Resurrected because I used to play that heaps when I was a kid. And what else did I buy? I bought God of War on the PC because Game Pass works on, on, on the PC. I've got a, a gaming Dell laptop there. G7, they call it. Dell G7. But um, <laughs> this thing, look at it. Look how small it is. And you can have like... Like, because that's only got 500 gig of inter in internal storage. So after you download, you know, they offer hundreds of games on Game Pass. So after you download, oh, I don't know, like 10, 15 games and put them on the, not even that, probably like 10 games, and it requires the internal storage. Because these newer games, you can't play them off that hard drive, off the normal hard drive there. You have to, let me get around and show you, you have to play them off an SSD, solid state drive, which that's an SSD, and that ain't, that's just USB, normal hard drive, you know, goes around and plugs into the USB port, but you see that port there, I've never done this, so here we go, we're going to do it together, so let me get this out, look at the thing, you know, in about five years these will be like 50 bucks but right now they're almost 400 <laughs> can't believe how much it costs so uh there's all my son's toys he's very tidy as you can tell so one terabyte ssd it's pretty sweet i like this how they do this price doesn't Oh, look at that. That's just the case. Oh. That is so cool. It's so small, man. And it's got some weight to it. Like, it ain't just like some cheap little thing, you know. That's it's quite heavy. Seagate. Wow. One terabyte. Wow. It's 
So which way does it go in? Sick. Fuck yeah. And say like, you could probably just 3D print a little box, put it there, and have like all your one terabyte memory cards in there, and you can just get like a yellow texture and write on there, you know, or I don't know how you do it, what games you got on there or not. But you need... If, if you have one of these consoles and you have Game Pass, you absolutely need at least one of them. Because I'm, I'm getting so sick of just downloading games and then going, it needs the internal storage to play this. So you transfer it to the internal storage and then it comes up saying, oh, before you can transfer it, you've got no room. Which ones would you like to move or delete? And then you got to move them onto this hard drive. And then when you want to play them, you have to move them back. Oh, man, it's a headache. So just having one of them will let me have, like, you know, 20 games on there. More. Without having to do all this transferring and shit. Because when I finish working down there, and I'm working on cars all day, I just want to come up here, sit down, turn on that, turn on the speakers. There's speakers all over here and a subby and shit. Speakers up there, there. And I just want to play a fucking game. I literally have, like, an hour until I have to go get my son from childcare and play with him and all that shit. So, spending 10, 15 minutes transferring games and all this fucking shit is just such a headache. But having that, I won't have to do that anymore. <laughs> so we... Turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. So, HDMI 2, we want HDMI 1, I should really change that, so it automatically goes to that, because I'm always just playing the Xbox, I'm barely playing that Nintendo, which is HDMI 1. <sighs> so, doesn't it come up saying you've got another hard drive, what's going on? Okay, so, let's figure this out together, guys. Let's go up to... Settings. Let's go to system storage. Oh, see, do you see how sick is that? So internal storage, you get three hundred and sixty-four gigabytes. <laughs> That's shit. But anyway, it's still amazing how you can get that console that plays all these sick ass, awesome games for that price. But you see, so, fuck all storage. See, one game and that that 66.7 will go to 100. <laughs> With just like, you know, Call of Duty or something. And then I've got the four terabyte hard drive there. And I've got a new expansion. That's so cool. Games and apps install here by default, yeah. Games and apps. What do you do here? View content install here by default. Move or copy. That's so cool, man. It just works. Fuck you. Yeah. So, ah, let's see. What's a what's a game? Let's see games. Now, but what can I download? Anyway, I'll do all this off camera. Nobody wants to see this shit. But the main thing was that memory card. You know what? Well, I'm going to have probably about three of them for each of my consoles. The one at home and one, one here at work. I have at least three of them by the time this Xbox is about a year or two years old. Because I'm going to need the storage. So you just have to keep buying them. 
reminds me of back when there was PS2. I used to have a PS2 when I was a kid, and I'd have all these... <laughs> I still got them at home. These, like, 8 megabyte PS2 cards, memory cards. They're just like that. Just like that. And you, and you save all your game saves on there, and then take it to your friend's house. So it's a pretty, pretty much the same thing, except this one. You have game saves on there, if you like, and also games. So I can pull it out and hopefully take it to my friend's console. I'm assuming that's how it's going to work. But yeah, definitely worth buying. Although they are pretty expensive. But you live once and you can't take your money with you when you're dead, can you? So, it's the way I see it. Have fun while you're still here.